Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's the part two of the Honda Civic rebuild. So as you guys can see behind me, I got a whole bunch of parts already in here. Um, the car is still outside. I haven't tried starting it yet. Now I'm gonna try to figure out a way of getting it in here and then we can go ahead and start working on it. Let's go outside and try to start that thing. All right guys, so I connected the jump box to the battery and I disconnected the MAF sensor because I seen one of you guys in the comment section down below. You guys said that if I disconnect it, it should run almost good, at least just to get it in the shop. That's what I did. Let's go ahead and test it out. It's not gonna work all right guys the Civic is finally inside I managed to get it in here I couldn't record it because I needed two hands to shift it in neutral and then drive because I had to rev it off so it doesn't shut off but I managed to get it inside now let's go ahead and check out all the parts and then we can dive in and start replacing this part probably gonna go ahead and replace this first and the uh, air box we'll start it see if it's choking if it still is choking, then we might have a different problem, but I think this should fix the problem because like I mentioned in the first video that this is busted right here. All right, so right off the bat, I found a pre-crash sensor from my pilot that I have right here. Um, I had like two of these left over. This should fit. I checked the plugs, everything lined up perfectly. Um, the bracket might be a little bit different, so I might have to replace the bracket, but the, the actual pre-crash sensor should fit and it should work if it doesn't and obviously I'll have to order a new one but I'm pretty sure this should work um, next moving on we have this part right here that is busted it's right here it's brand new obviously it's aftermarket but it should work then I have one of the headlights right here nice brand new headlight and i think this is the other headlight yeah they're both brand new headlights and then i have here the air box i bought it from the dealership it was the cheapest route and here is the radiator support and here is the new hinges both of them are in there and then we have here the radiator condenser I'm not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, this is the fan shroud. I have the actual fan. I'm just gonna swap it out to this new fan shroud. And also here is both of the fenders, the bumper cover, and the hood is outside. I'm gonna bring it in later, but as of right now, let's go ahead and start replacing this, this part right here. I'm gonna replace that and then we'll replace the air box and we're gonna start it up and see how it runs. So looking at the actual part, it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to replace. There's one, two, three, four bolts that's holding it and a bunch of little hoses that's connect to it, that's connected to it should be pretty simple i thought it'd be much more difficult but let's go ahead and get started knock it out all right so the old piece is finally off and here's what it looks like I and mean, this thing is completely gone I'm gonna go ahead and replace some of these parts right here that needs to go on the new one. This piece, and I think that's about it on oh, this bracket as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting on the new one.
Alrighty guys, everything is finally replaced and everything is secure. Um, this thing looks perfect and air box is replaced. Now is the moment of truth. Let's hook up the jump box and try to start it. Alright. Amazing. Just amazing. Let's try to set it in reverse, see if it's gonna choke or not. Perfect. All right. So everything works great. Now I guess we can start moving on to the um, radiator support and probably start installing the um, cooling components and then the hood, the fenders, and hopefully everything lines up perfectly. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna move the Civic up on the lift. That way it's easier on my back. All right guys, so the Civic is up in the air. I just wanted to make sure everything underneath here looks good, which it does. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by removing this brace right here, or whatever it's called. I don't have the new one just yet. It should arrive hopefully today, if not, then tomorrow. But I can install this afterwards. I can just get under the car and install it. It literally holds on two bolts right here, one over here and one over here. And these bolts go in the radiator support, which I will mount later. But let's go ahead and remove this one. And then drop the car back down and start installing everything else. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and took all the Ziploc bags from the inside of the car. And this is all the bags that are here. They're all pretty much marked like front bumper outside and then upper tie, whatever this is. Um, this is probably for the radiator support, lower grill, lower engine shield. Well, anyway, this is all the stuff that was in the car. And also, I did receive the inner cooler today. So, hopefully, I can assemble that today as well. But now, let's move on to the radiator support. Let's go ahead and start mounting it. And let's see if everything is lining up. All right guys, so I mounted the radiator support and I just put two bolts on top and here's how everything is lining up right here. That's how you know this thing does not have any frame damage. This thing just needs to go up a little bit and everything aligns perfectly. So now let's move on. Um, I don't even know what can we do next. Probably start installing the cooling components. Then we'll move on to the radiator, I mean to the reinforcement bar and... Alright guys, I'm running into a little problem. Looks like they sent me the wrong radiator. For some reason it's a lot smaller than it's supposed to be. Pretty much this is how the fan is. And as you guys can see, right there, huge difference. So I'm gonna try to get one here locally with 1-800 radiator. It's a little bit more expensive than eBay, but that's no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and order one. It should arrive tomorrow. But as of right now, I think I can go ahead and assemble the fan. Or actually, no, I think it has to be all in one piece. So um, I'm gonna put a hold on to the radiator, condenser and fan stuff. I'm gonna start on the body panels start replacing the fenders, the hood, and see how everything lines up.
Alrighty guys, so this is what I have accomplished so far. Um, there was really no point of installing these headlights because there is a chrome piece that goes over here which is part of the grill and I don't have just yet. It should arrive hopefully this week but I don't really need it until after the paint job anyway. But here is all the gaps pretty much. These gaps look really good up here and this fender. I'm going to explain something to you guys after I show you the other side and here it is right here this gap right here looks very good as well and this gap right here looks pretty good so both of the fenders need to have these pieces right here there's one over here and one over here which they're both riveted on there from this fender i'm gonna drill it out and put them on this fender but the other side probably have to get those pieces from the dealership and rivet them on there as well because this is where actually the fender mounts one bolt goes there and one bolt goes on the bottom so if you look right now the fender is just pretty much flapping here and it's as you guys can tell right here it's obviously not holding so i'm gonna do that here in a little bit all right guys so the radiator finally showed up and now i'm going to go ahead and start working on that start installing the radiator and then condenser and the fan um, actually i'm going to mount the fan to the radiator before i install it so let's go ahead and get started on that So we are having a good amount of progress going on here. I connected everything, the fan, um, the radiator is all connected, the condenser is all connected. Only thing I'm missing right here is this little pipe that goes from here to here. I already ordered it from the dealership, so it should arrive here tomorrow. And also I'm missing um, a couple other things. Oh yeah, these two brackets that I was telling you guys for the fenders that mount onto the body. I ordered those as well and also the pre-crash the pre-crash sensor this one is from the pilot um, like I said it does plug up perfectly and everything aligns but I already went ahead and ordered a new bracket so hopefully that bracket you know figures this thing out because right now this is like it doesn't line up anywhere so yeah but as of right now I'm gonna go ahead and bolt up the radiator support over there there's holes right there the bolts go on there and I can probably install the crash bar as well and I don't know that's probably gonna be it everything is finally buttoned up the crash bar went on there perfectly everything lined up amazing um, I bolted on the center piece right here the hood latch these brackets pretty much everything lined up perfectly just like I imagined it would because it does not have any frame damage so which is awesome now my next step is probably to go ahead and fill up the reservoir tank with coolant and let the car run for a few minutes, just let it get all the bubbles out of the system. Alrighty guys, so while I'm waiting on the paint to be ready, uh, it was supposed to be ready today. Um, I ordered paint to paint these, uh, to jam out the fenders and the hood. Um, I'm still waiting on the paint, it's probably going to show up uh, probably monday because today is friday and it's already like 8 p.m so obviously they're closed and they're not working tomorrow so in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and jump on the uh on the interior i have to take the airbag out and also i need to get to that srs module which is going to be a lot of work i have to disassemble the whole center console
And there you guys have it. SRS module is finally open. It's actually pretty easy from what I remember from my other couple Civics that I had, the newer model. Um, it was pretty tough to get the center console out, but I don't know. It's pretty easy on this one. So let's go ahead and take off the module. All right, module is off, airbag is off. Now, last thing, I need to get the seat belt off. I'm not sure if I will get one from the dealership or if I will have to um, rebuild this one. Um, I'll see which one's cheaper because I believe this is a dual stage. And I think dual stage seat belts are uh, to rebuild them. They're like 175 bucks or something like that. But let's go ahead and take it off. And Monday, I'll call the dealer and I'll compare some prices. Well, what do you know? I was wrong. This is a single stage seat belt. Uh, the difference between a single and a dual stage, the dual stage has two plugs that connect to the seat belt and one of them goes to the pretensioner and the other one goes to the seat belt this one just has one plug so it might be really cheap from the dealer if not then i'm gonna go ahead and send it out to get it repaired uh, i think it's like 45 bucks or 50 bucks for a single stage um seat belt all righty guys so it is now monday um apparently saturday they don't deliver to my shop but it is finally monday and honda dealer brought some parts to me and I looked at the total it just looks ridiculous four hundred and twenty dollars so I looked I'm like what is so expensive here turns out that this bracket this bracket right here this little bracket for the sensor for the pre-crash sensor it's $280 with my shop discount. If you don't have a shop, it's gonna run you $327 for this little bracket. This is like ridiculous. I would assume it's like $50, $60 tops, but nope, I was wrong. But I need it, so I have no choice but to get it. Next, we have the other grill piece that I needed with the hole cut out for the sensor. Then I have two O-rings. The O-rings are for this pipe right here for the intercooler over there. I'm gonna go ahead and install that first. And then uh, we'll try to mount this on there. This piece with the sensor. Hopefully that sensor works, because if it doesn't, I'm about $1,000 in this sensor just alone with the bracket and the sensor. So let's go ahead and install that piece first. And we'll try to connect the sensor on there and see if that works. And also guys, I stopped by and got some paint. Well, I ordered it last week and it's finally ready. It is by the paint code. So I will be painting, I will be jamming out the fenders and the hood. And I bought me something pretty cool from Amazon. I believe it's a 620 piece. Um, it's a bunch of clips. I always need these things so it's a bunch of clips I guess I bought me a bunch of boxes well not a bunch but got me three boxes so I should have enough for about half a year or so because I always run out of these clips because sometimes the original clips break so I just toss them out that's why I bought new clips they're a lot cheaper for this pack right here on Amazon is like I believe ten dollars or something like that but if you go to the dealership, each clip is about $3. Now do the math. There's 600 some clips in here. Times $3, you'll go bankrupt. All right guys, so I installed the new seals. They're on there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install this pipe. All right, so this inner cooler piece is installed. It's holding perfectly. All the seals are there. But as of right now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the front end again. Well, not the front end, just the front end parts, the um, fenders and the hood with the hinges. I wanna jam everything out, that way my painter don't have to do that. Okay, so before I start painting the fenders, I need to install these brackets that I was talking about in the earlier part of the video. I think they go 
something like this. Yeah, something like this and they rivet on. There's like holes over there. So let's go ahead and do that right now and then we can go ahead and start painting. All right, right off the bat, I ain't no painter, so if you guys see any little imperfections, it is whatever. First of all, it's gonna be on the inside. You won't be able to see it, but I personally think this paint job came out pretty good overall. It's very shiny and it's already dry. I threw three coats on there. Here's the fenders, both look good. Now I think we can go ahead and reinstall them on the car and bolt everything down. And then we can go ahead and take the car to the paint shop. Alrighty guys, so these are going to be probably the final gaps. If they look a little different after the paint job, I will have to readjust them one more time but they look pretty good alrighty guys that's actually gonna be a wrap for today's video this video took me about a whole week to make because I was waiting on some parts and stuff like that also I was waiting on this paint to show up and finally everything is prepped and it's ready for the paint work so next step I'm taking it to the paint shop I'm gonna call my towing guy since I don't have a truck or a trailer to tow it with I'm gonna call my towing guy he's gonna take it over there and then hopefully within three, four days, the car should be done and then I'll have it back here and I will have it assembled very soon, which will be in the next video. So be sure you guys stay tuned for that. And also, I believe I have most of the parts already ordered. I might be missing a couple little things, but I guess we'll find out when I'm assembling the car. But with all that being said, guys, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like my videos, share them with your friends and follow me on instagram at rebuild with nick thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video